Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And today I want to talk about a very, very important topic, which is more about the cybersecurity industry and where it's going. You know, where the market I see going over the next three to five years. And the topic is the decline of like pure technical skills in cybersecurity, like uh, just purely having technical skills. Is that a good idea or is it something you should maybe take a look at? And before people get mad at me, I'm not saying that having technical skills is a bad thing. Obviously not. I mean, if you've seen my videos, I always stress the importance of having technical skills and being hands-on. But what is happening is the market is changing, right? More and more automation is coming. More and more AI is coming. And it is very, very important to adapt and think about what sort of skill set that you have, right? And where that skill set will be uh, in the next three to five years. With AI, like there's a massive shift happening within the industry, especially, particularly in areas like software development, uh, cybersecurity, you know. So this time as of today, while you're watching this video, this is the worst that AI will ever be. AI is only going to get more advanced. Every year, it will become more and more intelligent, capable of doing more and more tasks. God knows one year from now, if you're watching this video, where you're going to see AI being, right? So that's why it's very important. So as of today, it's already able to do security code reviews, vulnerability assessments, L1 incident response, security assessments, right? And it will only get more and more advanced from here. Will it be as good as a human cyber security analyst? No, probably not, right? But I hate to tell you this, it might become good enough for companies to start looking at it as a good alternative. They might say, okay, it's not as good, as a full-time employee or a full-time cyber security human person, but it might be good enough, right? So, that, that and they might think about looking at roles they can offload off to AI. It might not happen overnight. I'm not saying this is going to happen next week. I'm saying over the next three to five years. And this has always happened. As technology evolves, some skill sets, they get devalued unless you make sure that you have other skills also. And that's why I wanted to talk about in this video, right? Now, the decline of pure technical skills in cybersecurity and what you can do about it, like what other skills you can acquire and uh, like how to approach the industry going forward. So if you're new to this channel, uh, on a weekly basis, I talk about things like cybersecurity, cloud security, AI, and general advice. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video if you found it useful. So, so th that, that was the bad news. So I talked about the bad news, which is, uh, that purely technical skills would no longer be sufficient to guarantee job security or career advancement, right? And the good news is new jobs are going to come up, right? New skills are going to rapidly come up, which will be in high demand. And developing these complementary skills will help you to like thrive as AI becomes more and more like uh, integrated into our daily lives, right? Uh, always remember that AI is amazing at processing data and, you know, like generating insights but it needs help with th things like creative problem solving, leadership, and all those sort of things, right? It, it, it will always require human judgment to make like strategic decisions. So that's why there are other skills you can focus on. And this is where the industry will go. We will be looking at AI augmented roles where people will be working alongside AI in their daily job. If you have ever seen that movie Minority Report, you know that scene where Tom Cruise is just like looking at that big screen and he's just flipping things, right? That is how the future of cyber security will be that you will have massive amounts of data and you will have to make sense of it. So that's why it's so important. So the first skill I would recommend developing thinking about is critical thinking and strategic decision making. As AI is going to be handled more and more routine technical tasks, the ability to be, you know, think critically and make strategic decisions will be crucial. And cyber security professionals who can look at data and then get the like AI generated insights and then apply them to problems, they are going to be in very, very high demand. So engage in problems that challenge your problem solving activities, right? Active, like case studies, complex case studies, uh, consider taking courses in strategic management, decision science, those sort of things I would definitely recommend. And those are going to be in high demand, like the recent CrowdStrike incident. Take a look at that, look at that case study. What are the strategic things you can uh, like uh, derive from that? What are the issues you can think about it from a tactical point uh, tactical uh, strategic endpoint like for the six next six to 12 months that is very very important number two and i've said this many many times communication skills in the see ai does not have the ability to read a room it cannot 
decide what what people's moods are, how to communicate things to people, right? It cannot replace the human touch needed to uh, communicate like very complex cybersecurity issues to non-technical people, right? So being ex able to explain cybersecurity risks and scenarios in a way that non-technical people can understand, it, it, it's going to be very valuable. It, it, it al it's already is valuable, by the way. It's only going to become more and more valuable. So practice explaining technical concepts to non-experts, you know, join public speaking clubs or take communication and leadership courses so that this like uh, if this skill gets more developed. Okay, number three is AI ethics and governance. And I've talked about this before. As AI becomes like more and more integrated, it plays a larger role in society. The ethical and the governance issues of AI, it is going to become more and more critical. We already have things like the EU AI Act, right? So you, you need people who can make sure that they are compliant with governance standards, AI, and cybersecurity. So cybersecurity professionals with a good grasp of ethics and compliance around AI, they are going to play a key role in the future of AI in this field, right? And I've already have a video on this, you can check it out. Uh, number, the next number I would say will be content creation. And this might seem strange. Why am I talking about content creation? So when I say content creation, I'm not talking about like making Instagram videos or TikTok dancing videos, but creating engaging content is going to be a massive, massive skill because nowadays what is happening, everybody is copy pasting things from chat GPT or other AI tools, right? Content that gives genuine value is going to stand out. So building a personal brand, it is going to be very, very crucial in the age of AI. It will help you to expand your network and your sphere of influence, right? Around cybersecurity. So start a blog on cybersecurity if that's easy for you. Create a YouTube channel if you like to speak face-to-face, -face, design infographics, whatever. But I would recommend looking at content creation and you know workshops. It's so easy to do on YouTube. You'll find like 1 million channels around this, right? And lastly, the last skill, this might surprise you, but entrepreneurial, like having, thinking like an entrepreneur, like thinking about a person who can start a one person business. Nowadays, the job market has become very, very bad. Unfortunately, people are getting laid off. People who are very, very competent, who have amazing skills, but still companies are letting them go, right? So think about how you can break away from the nine to five grind, right? And start your own one person company. You can do it with AI. AI gives you so many options to automate, to streamline, right? So think about developing a business, uh, like taking risks and proactively looking at. You don't have to do it if you already have a job. Just think about it on the side, right? And it will make you more resilient to job industry disruptions like AI. So where other people are scared, you will see an opportunity, right? So read books on entrepreneurship. Consider starting a side hustle, anything small, and slowly expand upon it in time. I have a complete newsletter on this. I call it the Cybersecurity Solopreneur. And there I talk about side hustles you can take a look at so that, uh, God forbid, your job goes away, you'll still be covered, right? So this is what I wanted to talk about, guys. I mean, in the, we, we are look, living in a, like a brave new world, right? In this new AI era, purely technical skills are no longer sufficient to secure your cybersecurity career. So to stay competitive, you need to develop these complementary skills, which I mentioned, and build upon them over time, right? As AI becomes more and more powerful, just, you know, having knowledge of a solution or having knowledge of coding, that won't be enough. You need to develop other skills which are future-proof. And these are the, the things I talked about. These are future-proof in a way. So I hope this was useful to you. Thank you very much. Do like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.